so far in our story of the people in the desert, we have seen that people complained and that Moses brought those complaints to God. He was open and honest in telling God his burdens. Today, we move on to talking about how God provides. When the people went to Moses and complained about not having enough to drink, Moses went to God and God provided water. And when Moses felt that his burdens were too heavy, too much of a load for him to carry, he went to God and God provided help so that he didn't have so much to carry. Even when we complain, God provides. God provides for us in lots of ways. It can be hard to see God's provision sometimes, as maybe it doesn't always come in ways that we might expect or want. And God doesn't provide the things that we want just because we are envious of what other people have, just because we feel jealous and we want that awesome pencil case or that cool lunchbox. God provides us with things that we really need. In other words, no matter how much you might pray for a brand new bike, a fancy TV or a tablet, God is unlikely to land one of those in your lap because we don't really need those things. Some of you might pray for friends if you're feeling lonely. God may answer those prayers by providing opportunities for you to play with new people at school or by softening the hearts of people in your class so they will welcome you into their game if you ask. You still need to keep working towards these things by trying to make new friends. But that doesn't mean that God isn't helping you just because you still have to work. If a family is hungry and they don't have enough food, God can put things in their path which will allow them to access the food that they need, whether that's a food bank, a friend or a neighbour. Sometimes answers will not be what we expect or what we were looking for, but the provision is still there. God also provides by equipping us with skills and gifts that we can use to serve him and others in our communities. Just because God provides when we complain, it doesn't mean he wants us to always complain. It is okay to complain because it's a really good way for us to express the feelings that we have and God always wants to hear about those things. But we also need to remember that God provides everything that we already have and we need to show that we are thankful for those things too. If you are living in a difficult situation right now, it can be really easy to complain. But try to be thankful too in your prayers and thoughts. Even if it is hard to see what there might be to be thankful for, for if you are in a really dark and lonely place, try and draw out one small thing. The harder you look, the more you will find. And by looking, we can learn to spot those provisions and blessings that God has given us. Can you make a list of all the things that you've been provided with? Whether that's things or skills uh, for you as a person. Keep this list around so you can have a look at it from time to time when you're finding it hard to find things to be grateful for. And then we can make sure that we're not just grumbling in our prayers, but being thankful too. Have you had a great half term? I want to know what sort of things you've been up to. And it's really great for us to be able to store some of those memories. So why not have a go at creating a memory page or poster from some of the things that you've done over the holidays? You could draw pictures to show the things you've been up to. Maybe you could use a computer and put in photographs um, that you've taken, you might have taken over the week. Have a go and see what you can come up with. And don't forget, I would really love to see what you do. So email them in to me so I can have a look too. How are you? Like an M&M. Actually, this is a smarty because the shop had run out of M&Ms. <laughs> One of the ways that God provides is through the gift.
gifts that he gives us. Different skills, interests and passions which are there for you to be able to serve him and others around you. We are all different. We look different. We have different skills and abilities. But as we use those talents to serve God, we are all the same on the inside. We are all filled with chocolate. Oh, wait. The Holy Spirit. A lot like these smarties, we are different on the outside. The way we look and behave and the things that we are able to do. But inside, we're all chocolate. As God works through us, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Think about which colour, smarty or M&M you might be. Maybe you're calm and quiet. Maybe you're passionate and strong-willed. Maybe you're very pink. What gifts have you been given? Which colour M&M or Smarty do you think you are and why? Because of the gifts that God has given you.